hear that noise? What noise? What is that? Oh, it's following us. Ten ordinary people from all over Britain have become fugitives. Just stand back for me. Yours, eh? Going on the run will be the biggest thing that I will have ever done. They have to disappear in one of the most watched countries in the world. I hate authority, like, bearing down on me. Tracking them down is an elite team of hunters. Hack his phone, hack his hardware, search his out. Armed with the powers of the state. I love you, I love you, I love you. Turn off the phone! Here we go, cell site location. We'll get after them! Excuse me. But if they can evade capture for 28 days... Missing the boys, missing home... ..they will win a share of a hundred thousand pounds. hundred grand? To be able to give money to my mum and actually put a deposit down on a house. I want to win, and I want to win in style as well. There's no way you're going to catch me. Got him, eyes on, eyes on. Come on! Where will they hide? Who will they trust? Oh, Ten fugitives, 28 days, £100,000. Someone's running. What would you do? Stay where you are! Your time on the run is over. The killer shells! You've been hunting down! He's caught as well. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Lolly has been hunted down. Five down, five to go. Let's go. Come on. Nick Cummings. So this is CCTV. Looks like he got dropped off there and then he's walked into the new forest. <laughs> He's not giving me any indication of any track or human sense, so this, for me, this is a dead end. Can you smell the money yet? <laughs> Anna and Elizabeth, last known sighting towards Edinburgh. Hi, Frank. Hello, Paul. To the hotline. Oh, <gasps> shit. Oh, my God. Hi, yo. Don't let me. I'm going to have to do something crazy. Like if you do it, I'll do something crazy. The mistake they've made is to go on the run with each other. The relationship is going to come under stress. Give it to me right Ayo, can you let go of me? Ladies and gentlemen, today heralds the start of week three. They're really going to be feeling the pressure. They're only halfway through. The finishing line is a long, long way off for them. So let's really keep our foot firmly on the pedal and see where we go. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Double time. Double time, double time. Childhood friends Io and Madhu are in the northwest. For the last few days, they've risked camping on public campsites. I don't feel safe here now, just simply because too many people know we are here. We need to contact my brother. No. Listen, no, no. listen to me. Io, no. Why? Why? No. Why? 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 No contact, no one. Why? No contact. Why contact Why? anyone? Because he can basically arrange loads of people to start calling in and saying we are over here and we are over there and we are over there and we are over there. Don't like That's what we calls. need. Don't like. That's what we need to do. Get your stuff and let's go. They could be on their way here right this second. We need to go. You're moving too slowly. When you're being hunted, you feel like prey all the time. You actually become suspicious of everybody. You become paranoid. You live in fear. That's what we're hoping for, to push people so far outside their comfort zone that they can't stand it and they break. And that's what we want and that's how we find them. Okay. So what we're doing now is they're speeding here. It could be 10 minutes, it could be five minutes away and we're waiting for your ground sheet. That's what we're doing, yeah? I'm not leaving my kit mat, my dry mat. I need that. You're waiting for a ground sheet, that's what you're waiting for. I'm walking. Mr. Adesina is such a panicker. Man is a fucking liability, man. They could be heading there right now. 
that possibility is back. And that means we've got to fucking move. I will stop there. Stop. I was not in a rush to get out of that place. Yeah, because you're a fool. That's okay. why you're not in the, that's why okay. you're not in a rush, because you're that's an idiot. Fine. Waiting for something to dry. You're a dick. You're another bag. Okay, that's what I'm... you are, you're another bag on okay, my head. I'm... I'm carrying you. I'm gonna start walking now. Yeah, go on then. Tired of overreaction. Walk off, and go home. I am. You see what happens. <laughs> Go back with the stuff. I'm not. You're not going to go back with no. the stuff? No. No? No. No? You sure? Yes. Because I'm going to do something mad as well. OK, fair enough. And that's going to be it. We're going to all go home now, OK? Yeah? All right, cool. Cool. I'm going to walk completely the opposite direction, and we're going to get caught. You ain't going to have jack shit. So if you want to keep walking, keep walking. Cool. Done. I'd rather just be on my own. Make it on my own and not make it on my own, at least. Yeah, it's just... Peace and quiet is nice. Me and Madhu have split up. Um, no more arguing. No more fighting. Just making decisions on my own. OK, everybody. Time to review where we're at. Let's start with Nick Cummings. Louisa. We are somewhat frustratingly a little bit behind the curve now with Nick Cummings. He's a house husband. He's the one at home effectively raising his children. Josh goes to a school in Taunton. Tom is homeschooled. It's a very close bond there with his two boys. So I can't help thinking that he's staying pretty close to home. Welcome to Somerton, you'll never leave. We spent all bloody day trying to go around you. Oh, for flip's sake. Are we lost? No, we're just, we're just repeatedly uh, in the wrong place. <laughs> Nick Cummings is staying one step ahead of the hunters, hiding out on familiar territory. Just 30 miles from home, he's looking for his next camping spot. Hello, I'm sorry, everybody. Um, we're looking for West Bradley because um, it's, a, it's a campsite. Camp in the garden. Would that be all right? That's sure. Right. Um, yeah, OK, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Sorry, what was your name? Sorry. Richard. All right, Richard, I'm Nick. No, very nice to meet you. Nick. Thank you very much for your help. Come on in. I've, I've brought a Nick back. Hello, I'm very sorry to trouble you. Sorry. Are you actually on the run? I am, that's right. Yes, I've got to stay hidden for 28 days. Sometimes Nick, you know, lacks a bit of self-belief in himself and doesn't realise, you know, how sociable and fun he used to be with. Do you need a torch, goat? I've got a little one that fits on my head. Do you need Good. a pillow? Uh, no, I use my backpack. Right. I think winning would give him just that little bit of extra confidence in who he is, and it doesn't matter that maybe, you know, he looks at the world in a different way, he's still successful. There we go. Are you actually going to be thrown into jail? No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a criminal. Would you give that to, to Nick? Thank you. Thank you very much. That's very right, kind of you. Cheers. Light a fire or something. Oh, yeah, that'll do. That's very nice. Thank you. <laughs> that'll hit the spot. It's all a bit overwhelming, frankly. Yeah. Well, I, think, I think you've got to up your game slightly. Yeah, probably. You've got to be I, just I, I be know, more, know, more tactical. And, and ruthless. Really... You should be ruthless with it, because otherwise you, you're not, you're not going to get the most out of it. You know, they've got all the kit, but they've got to know where to put it. Absolutely. To look for you. And as long as they haven't got a clue, you know, that, that's my advantage. Is there any way we can perhaps focus on the family? He's going to come up for air at some point and meet loved ones. Can we thwart that, frustrate that, be across that? We could just yeah. stop doing a little bit of um, gentle antagonising. Yeah. Let's just shake him up. Joanne, I'm Neil. Hello. We did this big tea about your husband, Nick. 
Over the last few days, the ground hunters have visited Nick's family home several times. They've placed a tracker on his wife's car, thoroughly searched the property, and bugged the house. The strategy that we're employing is focusing on much more of the psychological aspect. To the uninitiated, it can look a little bit uh, manipulative um, and a bit dark. The boys must miss them. Was that difficult with the kids? Yeah, you know, Nick said he wasn't going to contact us, and we understand that. Okay. What you're doing is you're getting into the mind of somebody, and you're looking for leverage. We just had something come up on our feed there. Do what, bud? We just had something come up on our feed there from Joanne Cummings. We're live monitoring our Facebook updates, and she's posted an update on Facebook to say, beautiful roses from Nick for our anniversary. Armed with another reason to visit, Amy and Neil head back to see Joe. We're pretty certain that, that, that she is much more involved in this and she knows a lot more than she's been saying. So we're going to use your amazing charm to convince her to tell us everything. You might want to get another team in if you're looking for charm. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. When was the last time Nick was in touch with you? When he left. And you haven't heard from him at all? No. Since then? Phone, email, no. Facebook, anything like that? Excuse me for saying that I don't believe you. Nick's had no contact with his wife since he went on the run. Bloody glad I brought this thing. <laughs> but now, just five miles from home, he's hoping to intercept her on the school run to get some cash. Got a plan to meet up with Joe and pick up money. Once you made contact with her, I could start being much more mobile. And you literally could be here any time between three and four, really. Did he send you a card or anything for your anniversary? Um, he sent some flowers. Oh, did he? Mm. OK. You still have them? Mm-hmm. Can you show me them? When, when did they come? Yesterday. That's nice. While Neil interrogates Joe, Amy installs spyware on her phone, allowing HQ to monitor her communications. Perhaps she's late. What are you trying to work out? If I could get there and back. You want to go to your house? Yeah. Think about it. Go on, do it. This is pretty bold, Nick. Yeah, sod it. I don't know if I'm hanging about. It tells me a lot about the kind of guy that, that Nick is. They're still going to take a risk, and it is risky, to go and send you flowers. That's quite commendable. I miss anniversaries all the time. There's our house there. Tom! Nick spots his son Tom in the back garden. Come here. Oh. No, not yet. No, I'm still winning. Can you very quietly, well, just go and get Mum's hand, OK, and ask her to come up here, can you? Don't say it's me. Do you know where Nick is? No, I don't. Really? No, I don't. OK. OK. Interesting conversation, Joanne. I can't sit here, can we? Because if she goes by here and she'll see us and she'll, she'll be, we'll, we'll be rumbled. Oh, there she is. Yeah, yeah. Are they watching the house, are they? Yeah. Twice yesterday, once today, once last week. Good God. Oh, lovely job. Is that yeah. the money? That's yeah. lovely. Thanks. Let's go. <laughs> go for it. Okay, take um, care. Love you. All right. Big fan. No, it's all. I'm just very OK, lovely job. Okay. Yeah, you take care. Oh, fine. OK, we're off. OK, you take care. Love you. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, hang on, what did I say? 
No, you're wearing a navy boiler suit. Okay, yeah. They uh, took my phone, so I presumed they had tampered with it. They assumed I would be lying and not telling the truth. <laughs> Good old Joe. We beat the hunters. <laughs> well, so far, anyway. <laughs> If he manages to evade us, that could galvanise what we talk about as a, an inner heroic narrative within, within this quiet man who I think, I think has probably been dismissed by pretty much everyone up to now. And if that happens, then he starts to represent a real challenge to us. To meet Joe under the scrutiny of the hunters means we are players now. We're, we're, we're not just spectators. You know, we're playing the game properly now, and that's really good. OK, are we ready for Anna and Elizabeth? Yeah. You know, we're still running slightly behind at the moment. It seems they're keeping completely sporadic, going north-south, north-south. For the last two weeks, Yorkshire friends Anna and Elizabeth have stayed one step ahead of the hunters, averaging five lifts a day they've hitchhiked over 2,000 miles. Oh, she's on the road again And she doesn't know where she will be tonight Hi, sir. Sorry to disturb you. Me and my friend are trying to hitch a lift down south and we're completely desperate. It's just bizarre. You don't know where, where the hell you're going to be at any one time. Ah, oh, God, we need to really get out here. I'm stressing. Hi guys, they're like a sheep across the hall. Yeah, like a giraffe. Ooh. CCTV and number plate recognition in operation. I'm a nervous wreck, me too. <laughs> After nearly catching the girls in Scotland, the Hunter's media campaign is still yielding results. Right, you have uh, seen your fugitives. Two girls, both wearing racksacks. We've stunned out like a sloth from here, because everyone knows everyone. That's what worries me, the potential that they might offer people a reward for any information leading to our capture. Well, I have a fund for uh, for information. I'm a businessman, so uh, money's the motivation. The girls' latest lift has dropped them in Windsor, right in the middle of the Queen's 90th birthday celebrations. Wait. <laughs> All this to go and see the bloody queen. This could be a potentially very stupid move. It's getting a lot scarier and you get more paranoid every day. It's difficult to know who to trust and especially with us not knowing where they are and how much they know it makes it more difficult. Yeah. They have to hold out and they have to outthink us, they have to be ahead of us. As time goes on, this is um, psychological warfare. We're just wondering, we're absolutely desperate if we could get a lift with you anywhere, just out of here, we've got to get away as quickly as possible. With no leads on Io and Madhu since they went on the run, HQ turn their attention to the pair. Looking at what we know about Io and Madhu, they're different personalities. The way Io is a bit more off the wall, is a bit more of a maverick. Madhu is more structured, methodical, strict and disciplined. I just wouldn't be surprised at this point if they split up. Three pound, you can't go wrong. Would it be possible that I could stay at one of your places? Yeah, so... I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> that is classic. Io is going to want attention, is going to want involvement with people. He's egocentric as well. Highly educated, what, two degrees? Could you have a couple of days of tuition for free? <laughs> <laughs> Since splitting with Madhu two days ago, Io's been relying on his charm to get by. Yeah. There is a camper van outside in the front that you could use, as long as you're not going to <laughs> Thank you very, 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 very much. He's convinced Amanda to let him stay in her camper van, parked up outside the family home. 
This is my home for tonight. From a sheep shed to basically the five star hotel. If we offer them the opportunity to have attention, to do something risky, dramatic, IO will want to do it. We need to exploit that. Mm -hmm. Lorian, I've got a task for okay, you. Yes, I would like you to go shopping. OK. <laughs> I can do that. See, we want this. Because okay. that is what Io drives to give to his daughter tomorrow on her mm -hmm. second birthday. OK. To Eden before her birthday. I haven't really been away from her since she was born, so... I'm still guessing, trying to get my head around that all kind of thing. So, I'm sure she will be kind of wondering as well where Daddy is. It certainly does change you becoming a dad. Growing up, being a bit of Jack the Lad, I think it's made me better and it's made me want to achieve more. If I could win, you know, it's 100 grand on one, that's a lot of money. That would secure the future for my daughter, for my family, they are actually my number one priority. Chief, yes. we've got the present. Florian, your job is to put it together. What we're going to do is take a photograph of it and put a picture of that on Twitter. Perfect. I want it on the Hunted HQ page. Having already received antagonistic tweets from Io, the chief believes he'll still be checking HQ's social media. So uh, we'll start off. Um, a special little girl is two years old tomorrow. Here's our gift to her. Hashtag dad on the run. Absent father. I love that. Hashtag absent father. It's a window into the way your mind works, Toddington. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment, sir. What do you think that then, Ben? Great. Best case scenario? Io sees it and cannot help himself from retaliating. Since he went on the run, Io's been using his IT skills to go online without giving away his location. <laughs> OK, what, is this what mans are trying to do, yeah? You see what they're trying to do? Hashtag absent father. <laughs> they're trying to go deep. They're trying to go deep on man. Now, you see this man here, yeah? He's going to get it. What happened? This Mr Blexi. Trying to use my daughter's birthday, then. That's cheeky. If they want to know what I'm getting my little girl for her birthday, boy, they'll get mugged off, cos I'm going to do a little Mission Impossible. I'll go see her. I really doubt that they're going to give her that present anyway. Could it play right. music and stuff? I wonder if you put some kind of listening device in it or something. Uh, what do you mean? Well, you don't trust us. <laughs> <laughs> do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, we're glad she likes the present. I'm going to unleash the pain. I'm going to unleash the fire onto these people, especially that Mr. Blexley, Blexley, that East London geezer. Can't sleep because it's bloody freezing. <laughs> and I'm quite concerned and anxious. I assume the hunters have been round to Joe already today. At Nick's house, Amy and Neil are still staking out the area and keeping his family under surveillance. I'm starting to think that I've been kind of in the south and southwest too long. So basically, uh, I need to make a big move and create a distraction so that they're looking elsewhere while I make that move and put as much distance between the meat and the hunters as possible. Hopefully Richard can help me. He's the best bloke for it, I think. I think he'd be up for it. After letting Nick camp in his garden, 
Richard takes him to a secluded camping spot in South Glastonbury. How many hunters are there? Do you I, know? I, I don't know. I mean, Have it's... you checked yourself for, for tracking devices? Uh, not me personally. <laughs> <laughs> Confident Richard's on his side, Nick asks for his help to throw the hunters off the scent. A little bit of a, a plan we'd like to hatch to uh, fool the hunters a bit. So uh, if you could help us with that, that'd be very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that all right? Okay. Thank you very much. First, he borrows Richard's phone to call his neighbour. It's Nick Cummings here. Hello, how are you? That's good, yeah, yeah, very good. I've got about 10 days to go now and I'm doing really well. I just wanted to ask if, I, if you could just do me a little favour and get a message to Joe for me, please. Yeah. For his plan to work, Nick's banking on the hunters monitoring Joe's phone. Can you ask Joe, please can you call Kathy? Yeah and tell Cathy that I've messed up and I've lost my tent and sleeping bag and I'm soaking wet, okay? So can I meet Cathy at the gym tomorrow, Friday, at midday? And please, can you ask her to give me 100 pounds? Yeah, so. Nick gives Richard his instructions for the diversion and swears him to secrecy for the next 24 hours. Well, thank you very, very much. Right. You've done so a tremendous amount, right. thank I you. I will swing by later. Okay, lovely, cheers. Think you can trust Richard? Yep, absolutely. The guy wanted to give us help without even knowing what, <clears throat> what we were doing. I think he's also up for the game as well, you know, I think he's up for the, the subterfuge. Simon, come over my shoulder and have a look at this, mate. OK, so we've just got some phone intercept in um, for Joanne, um, Nick's wife. Can we crunch this through the system? Yeah, Let's just listen to this. For the last week, HQ's been monitoring Joanne's communications. Hello. Hello, Kathy, how are you? Oh, I'm all right, yeah. So, yeah, I've got a message that's come to me through Nick, and he's, he's having problems. So, are you going to the gym tomorrow? Yes. So it was saying about meeting about noon. Okay, I can do that. With money as well. And yep. then he'll be there in a boiler suit. All right. And a week, apparently. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Did you need anything else? or? No, no, I think that's fine. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Perfect. And this is what generally happens two, three weeks in. People get tired. Psychologically, they're a bit battered. And they make mistakes. So we've now got sight of this plan this contact. HQ throw all their resources behind investigating Nick's contact, Cathy. We've got the name of the gym on the bank statement of Cathy Terry's husband. It's a good place to meet. It gives so many routes in and out for Nick. It's so expansive that if he is dressed up like some kind of maintenance guy, he wouldn't really get that much attention. I refer to Nick as a grey man. He's no longer grey at the moment certainly not wearing a wig and a boiler suit. It is basically telling us where Nick will be tomorrow at noon. Um, simple. You made him brew? Yeah. Well, coffee, Tracy, please. You all right? You landed lucky, didn't you, when you walked into my shop? Well, to be honest with you, <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't bad for a three-pound sub at all. <laughs> Having befriended Amanda in a sandwich bar, Io's been taken in by her relatives, the Skein family. I've been checking mirror all over here. Yeah, we've been looking. There's no dodgy vehicles been about round here. Io's asking for their help. He's planning his revenge on the hunters following the chief's tweet about his daughter. I want to taunt the hunters a bit. Yeah. I want to, like, have a go at them. So I am going to try and see my family in London. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to need all of yours help. Ben, Come on. Yeah. The family take photos to post on social media to make the hunters think Io's near Shrewsbury while he actually heads to London. So let's get Julie on here. Io also decides to turn the tables on the hunters by putting them on their own wanted posters. Holly, Ollie, 
Skein. All right, okay. 11-year-old Holly will send the posters from her Twitter account once Io's left to see his daughter. I think there is a danger that they might find you. Yeah, that is true. Um, but hopefully, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, see all these wanted posters? I'm going to need you guys to go on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on everywhere you can. It's going to confuse everybody to what is real, what is not real, to distract, to distract them. them. You know what I mean? I'm in. I am walking into the lion's den, but I've got bravery and I've also got a very thought out plan. Distract, attack, and then leave. A boiler man is back. <laughs> it's the day of the meeting with Kathy at her health club. Nick is hoping the hunters will be there. OK, let's do it. Let's go to work. Come on. There is a 60-40 chance that they won't turn up and a 60-40 chance that they will turn up. I will see you this evening, uh, either like this or bound and gagged and tied to a chair with a several grumpy hunters stood around. <laughs> Hi, Amy, it's the Chief. Hello, Chief, how are you doing? All right, thank you. More importantly, how are you doing? Uh, we're all right, we like a challenge. Having intercepted a call made by Nick's wife, ground hunters Amy and Neil are lying in wait. There's literally six or seven car parks attached to this place. This is a vast resort. OK. I'm sitting in the higher, the higher one of those car parks, principally because I can look down to the T-junction and the main entrance and just clip any vehicles going in. So as far as we can tell at the moment, her cars are not here. Neil uh, is on foot, uh, popping about with his baseball cap on backwards, uh, and a bit of lycra, trying to blend in. We hopefully will be able to pin cars coming in and out from three of the four points. BMW up there, but it's a great one. Really, boss, it's a case of sit tight and um, let's see what happens. From this end, we've got all the vehicles known to them on AMPR. We've got phone monitoring and cell site analysis of the phone. If it moves, we should be made aware of that. We're covering as many bases this end as we possibly can. Stand by, stand by. I've got eyes on Nick Cummings. Eyes on Nick Cummings. Oh, thank you. He's walking my left to right. He's walking past me in inches. He's he's foggy to me. So I'm going to have to do. Kathy, where art thou? Amy, we got Neil eyes on. Which car park do you want me at? Overflow car park, Amy. All right. Give us two seconds. Okay, I've still got. Him. I can still see the top of his head. Can we confirm this is an absolute positive ID? Hundred percent. He's got a black willy hat on, black wig. We're boiler suit. That's Nick Cummings. He's just at the junction of all three entrances to the main car park. So let's just not waste any more time. Go ahead for the capture. OK. On your left, Amy. I'm just behind you. I'm just behind you. I'm walking behind you. All right, so on all your right, left all right. now. Are you ready? Looking left, looking left, looking left, looking left. I'm going to block this car park, guys. I'm coming in in front of him. I'm going to take him out right now. Neil, come with me. He's going to make a run for it, people. He's going to make a run for it. Well, that's not a good sign, is it? Nick! Fuck! Fuck! Grab, grab, grab! Nick Cummings! You've been hunted down, buddy! Your time on the run is over. Wait, we haven't got confirmation it's him.
I got the wrong one. Shit. We've got a double, Lou. Yeah, got that. Who are you? Richard. Got your same nose. Oh. Nice one. Cheeky bastard. You know, fingers crossed, he's, he's the other side of the country. Over 250 miles away, Nick has successfully hitchhiked his way out of Somerset. <laughs> I started off as the comedy turn, the, the guy in the boiler suit with the big boots and the, and the knackered push bike, and I'd beaten a lot of them. <laughs> Today is the day that, you know, we come out of the trenches and we go over the top. Io is making his final preparations to travel home to see his daughter. Well, let's pack this all up for Operation London. Before he makes his getaway with the help of Matthew Skane, Io kicks off his false trail to lead the hunters towards Shrewsbury. If we bring them from here, that means they will definitely come here. <gasps> when I make that call, I'm out of there anyway. So hopefully I'll be miles away before they get here. Hunter headquarters. Hello, can I speak to um, um, Blex, please? I think it's Peter Blexley. Someone that wants to talk to you personally. Hello? Hello, is this Mr. Blexley? Yes, it is. You know the other day you tweeted me? What am I going to get for my daughter? Well, at this rate, bro, it's going to be a share of that £100,000. Yeah? Because there's no way you're going to catch me. If it's Aya, we can obviously track that call. What we need to do is we need to find out where that number's coming from. Look, Mr. Bexley, listen, mate. Listen, yeah? You think you're some kind of bad man, innit? You think you're some kind of road man? Let me tell you, Io. I'm the chief of the hunters. That's who I am. But right now, you're not doing a very good job, are you? Like, I've even got to the stage where I just thought I might as well call you. You having a good time? I'm having a weird of a time, I'm telling you. I'll see you in about 10 days at the finishing point, yeah? I'll see you later, mate. Take it easy. He's clearly responded to our hosting. He's yeah. chomping at the bit. I think Io is going to continue to be a cocky git, um, and we'll wrap him up, which is great. Here we go, cell site location, Shrewsbury. There we go. Woo! On the road to London. Now the plan is in full motion. Io checks to see if his wanted posters have been put online. Right, so we got a tweet two minutes ago. So Holly, you know, on time, exactly as she should be. She's hit the button and um, she's got Peter Blexley Looks like I'll be getting a share of that 100k for that special girl. She's also tweeted all the wanted posters. You see, taking down these hunters with a little 11-year-old girl. Chief. Yeah. You might want to come and uh, check this out. So what's happening here is we've just picked up this Twitter feed, and uh, they've created wanted posters of uh, some of us hunters. Uh, saying the hunter has now become the hunted. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even my best picture. <laughs> There's a trick in this somewhere, and it's about working out exactly where the trick is. Based on the telephone number of the Twitter account, there's a phone number associated to that. I've done a workup on the phone number, and it comes back to a Facebook account of a person by the same name, Holly Skein. So here's a family photograph. We've got yeah. Tracy Skein, Matthew Skein, Holly Skein. They live in Wem. Wem is in near Shrewsbury. Ben, we've, we've got, got some... vehicles for the skeins. So could we get those immediately on AMPR, please, and also retrospective? Yes. Thank you very much. OK, the first one is a Mazda Bongo. Never heard of it. And it's purple in colour. That would be that better. camper van of theirs. Yeah, it seems like a camper van, this one. Yeah. Second vehicle, the white Mazda 5. Oh, have you seen the picture that's just been posted to Hunter HQ? It looks like Ayo with Holly. It's too obvious for me. He almost wants us to come to Shrewsbury for some sort of trap. So the white master has been on the move quite significantly. It's hit loads of ANPRs. The most recent at the A1 past Henley's Corner. I'm happy now. 
I'm back in familiar territory. We've been in the car for 10 minutes and we ain't even moved like five meters. This is London. What I'm thinking here, could he be headed back to London? I'm going to send the team there, I think. Yeah. You can't investigate in a linear fashion. It just doesn't work like that because you're investigating human beings. You need that hunch, you need that gut feeling. Nick, it's Ben. Hi, Ben. I need you to get to um, A1, Henry's Corner. Right. We believe we have a vehicle with IO in. If you can start transiting to that area and we'll lock you on to the live AMPR feeds. Vehicle is a white Mazda. I'm excited. We said he was in London. Yes, yes! Now, I just need to be even more careful. So this is the, the direction they're going. That's where Ayo's parents live. Well, Nick and Danny should be in that area now. We're on the A-train, um, heading Boom. south. I could have made a mistake. They might know that this is where I'm heading. They might have guessed this is where I'm heading. I don't really know how much danger I'm in. If I'm totally honest. I can't see the I.O. headed to London without going to see someone that he knows. I mean, we're coming up to Tottenham now. We're really getting close to my area. The thing is, I'm thinking, now I'm getting proper paranoid. So we've got further AMPR hits for the White Master. Hello. Not so long ago, it was just going past Wood Green Tube Station. We're there. Where? How long ago, Ben? Uh, Ten past five. OK, it so then... Going past Dunco Avenue. OK, Dunco so Avenue, that, that's okay. right where we are. Right, they are right on top of that last AMPR. Right, at the end of this road, at the very end, you're going to go right. We're going to stumble across them. Are you feeling pretty nervous, Ben? Yeah, because I'm like, obviously, I'm at my mum's house. They're not going to be round here, but they could just be literally on that road somewhere. Yeah, just park here and this little line. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're safe. That might be them, you know. There was a Mazda there with lights on. What? There was a Mazda parked up there. Oh, Matt, let's go straight away, let's go. Look, he's moving away. That's it. That's it. That's it. Go, 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 uh, making off as in, has it seen you? Yes. Where is your location? Evering Road, heading towards the Alpha 10. Yeah, left here, left, 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 left. Keep going, they're going to get stuck at those lights. Fuck. The last loss. Luckily, you can only go left at the lights. Pull down this road and just pull up somewhere on this road. Oh, he's so nearby, this fucker. I want to get him. So are you convinced that the uh, the white Mazda saw you and saw your vehicle? 100%, yeah. I own. Yeah. Just give me a second, man. No, but I might not have a second, did it? Realising the Mazda is no longer safe, Io decides to flee on foot. He'll be out of that car if he's got anything about him. Well, we've got Gillett Square on our right-hand side, where we've got ASO rocks. If he's going to go anywhere, like, he's going to go there, surely. OK, go for it. Fuck it. Let's go. Ayo heads to the family restaurant, hoping to get help from his brother. We're going around the back way, and I'm going to get my brother away from there, which is fucking crazy. I think I should get out on foot, Dan. We need to separate. For fuck's sake. I can't believe this. So we've had live CCTV, so a man of your description has been seen in Gillett Square, which is where Azo Rock is. Just tell him to come and fucking meet me there now, like, tell him to come. No, yeah, there, there, there. Yes, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> Save you, man. Fuck off. Fuck off. 
right, get it square now, guys. Get it square. Fuck feet, man. We're just gonna have to just pray in it. I hope that we can just get out of here quickly. That is them out there. It's gonna be hard to spot, to spot a black man around here, mate. Right, boss. It's busy, busy. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. With no sign of his brother, Io spots a friend who lives in the area. Basically, yeah, we need to go into your house. Go to your house now, yeah, it's cool. Yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? All right. The helicopter will be up in five minutes. Can I stay here tonight? You know me, boss man. We're looking to cut off every single possible route of escape that he could have. We want to box him in, sweat it out, till he pops his head up. Shit. Basically, the whole of London is going to fucking know I'm here now. Right. What we're trying to do now is build a brick wall around him. This is my turf, and I'm not going to be caught here. No way. Doing literally house to house, trying to flush him out. Go, go. Someone's let us in. Oh, my God. I'm terrified. I'm scared now. They do have the power to turn people against us. Yeah, all right. Fuck off. Madhu. Oh, look. Oh, you. God, you just don't feel safe. Yeah, got him, got him. Eyes on, eyes got on. Eyes on. For your chance to have your own hunted experience, go to all4.com slash thanks4 to enter. Next tonight on Channel 4, First Aid Celebrity Special for Stand Up to Cancer, a change for some, and a change is as good as a rest.